Hey guys, it's Dean Pantea, and we're going to talk about waterfowls. Waterfowls are in the family Anseriformes. With first up being the geese. They're grazing with their parents and making sure they stay close by. Yep, Canada geese are grazers, important grazers for North America, especially for the short grass. We got some adults right here. Awesome geese. And goslings. I'm trying to make a video about hunter swans. Have you guys seen our new ones? Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. They don't like to share their territory. The next one are swans. The trumpeter swan is the largest flying bird in North America. They are known for these very loud vocals. I wonder if I can make this sound like a trumpeter swan. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> they might need a little bit more practice to master the vocal sounds of the trumpeter swan. No, wait, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. How was that? You're right, you do way better than I do. <laughs> they use these trumpet-like calls to, to vocalize with each other. And lastly, there's the ducks. This right here is a matter duck. Ducks are smaller than geese and swans. Ducks are omnivores and have waterproof feathers for swimming, like all waterfowls. There are at least over a hundred different types of ducks. Now let's look at the differences of geese, swans, and ducks. Geese weigh around 13 pounds and measures up to 180 centimeters. Some combine of white, gray, and brown with large bills. The swan is the largest of all of the waterfowls and usually white or black and mate for life. Ducks are the most diverse of the waterfowls. Ducks also have the most diverse plumage and the smallest and shortest neck.